Taylor's Productions welcomes you and presents The Muddled Mayhem. is required at all incidents that are a possible scene of crime. This can range from serious traffic collisions to murders. There are also specialist areas a crime may be committed, such as on the railways, out at sea or in the air. The police, fire and rescue service and CSI deal with the majority of the cases that are recorded. But for the more specialised environments, there are specific branches and they work under the Department for Transport. These include the Air Accident Investigation Branch, the Marine Accident Investigation Branch, the British Transport Police and the Railway Accident Investigation Branch. They are not responsible for selecting who is to blame, they just aid the police and discover the facts to allow a case to be taken to court and possibly where necessary. God must need another angel around the throne tonight. You love me. Arriving at the scene of the crime, the elected first officer must record the time, date, weather conditions and take the necessary action to preserve and make the area as secure as possible. Medical assistance to victims on the crime scene must take priority, although any unauthorised personnel, for example family or photographers, are not allowed in the designated crime scene as any individual present poses a risk of contaminating or destroying physical evidence, whether this be deliberate or by accident. Immediate action should be taken to protect items and evidence which may be ruined by the weather conditions or fire. Any people present at the scene of the crime who may witness should be removed from scene and their details must be taken. It is also very necessary to record all movements at the scene and any items moved or touched by individuals should be noted. Scene preservation. When assessing a crime scene, certain measures need to be taken in place to stop important ev evidence being damaged or that could influence the case. They could do this by a number of different resources such as physical barriers, ropes, cordons, tape, etc. can be used to stop entry of public. They could also use existing boundaries such as walls or doors. Once these boundaries have been established and cordons are set up, they can document all the people entering or leaving the scene, example, officers entering or exiting buildings. To maintain integrity of the scene, they must control the flow of personal and animals entering and leaving the area. This can be done through a certain entry and exit points and that may be, that may and they are limited to where they can go. Effect measures may be used to protect the evidence that the services think it might be compromised. This might affect rain. This might be through rain, wind, wildlife, tire tracks, footprints.
Recording the crime scene in its original state is highly important for evidence in court. The three methods of recording the crime scene efficiently include photographs, sketches and written notes. The crime scene must first be photographed as thoroughly and as accurately as possible from various angles. Pictures must include suspect entrances and exits and the surrounding areas. If a body exists at the crime scene, it should also be photographed from all angles to show injuries that may, may have occurred and weapons. The surface beneath the body is then photographed when it has been removed. Maintaining the chain of custody. The chain of custody for an evidential item begins with the collection of the evidence from the scene of the crime and ends when the evidence is used in court. The authenticity and integrity of the evidence depends on the detailed history of the item, including the persons who came into possession of the item and the examination tests that were performed. By establishing set strict guidelines for recording and labelling the history of evidence during its time it is handled, it provides the most effective way to ensure the safe nature of the incredible, incredibly important items collected as evidence. Rough sketches should also be made at a crime scene to give an accurate picture of the scene including dimensions, the location of the items in relation to each other, e.g. articles of clothing or weapons. The locations of the approaches to the crime scene such as roadways, paths, entrances, exits and windows should also be included. The sizes and dimensions of the area or building should be measured with all measurements taken. They should be made with a tape measure and their facing positions. The exact positions of the objects are determined by distance measurements from two, two fixed points, e.g. the walls of a room. The sketch taken is normally a rough one used to give a maximum information but without much care and attention to the appearance. The rough sketch is then used to prepare a finished sketch usually carried out by a skilled worker which is drawn to scale and includes details of the evidence. Computer aided drafting CAD is available which lets the graphical representation of complex crime scene and can include details and images such as blood splatters. These finished sketches can then be used as evidence of the crime scene. Physical evidence that is collected must be properly packaged and labelled with different samples requiring different methods of packaging. For example, hairs and fibres can be enclosed within plastic containers. Any items containing biological evidence such as blood or saliva must be air dried before packaging and placed in paper bags to remove moisture buildup and contamination from bacteria or growth. The packages should be labelled with time and date of packaging and the name of the packager and any history of any known contact with the evidence must be noted. Note taken alongside the sketches and photographs play an important role as throughout the handling of the crime scene. A very detailed and written description of the scene and physical evidence should be included. Alongside with times of discovery and in individuals, so that's an eyewitness, coming in contact with the evidence. Tape recording notes can be often more efficient and more beneficial as it is a much quicker method of note taking. But this must be later transcribed into a written document for use of evidence. The angels around the throne tonight. Troubles feel so small And you were always there to catch me I'd fall In a world where heroes come and go Well, God just took the only one I know So I'll 